Welcome back. Imagine being able to see your own heart in 3D, along with any clogs or blockages that you might have. Well now, thanks to cutting edge technology, you can. And one local clinic is making this scan available to everyone. Whether you've been having occasional chest pain or you're just curious about the health of your ticker. I made the trip out to Frontenac Cardiovascular Center so I could see the cardiac scan in action for myself. It's relaxing. It's no big deal. You could actually fall asleep, I think. <laughs> and it's so quick. This is not typically how patients describe complex medical tests, but that's exactly what Liz and Tina are doing. They're describing a cardiac CTA scan. These two women allowed us to follow them through the entire process at Frontenac Cardiovascular Center, from the moment they checked in to the moment they received their results. And the test is quick and easy. Dr. Omar al Musali is board certified in cardiovascular medicine and nuclear cardiology. If somebody asks you, hey, you need to quit smoking or you need to take this medicine without giving you the, the true explanation why, it may not, you know, kind of sink in so Resonate, much. Resonate, yeah. But, but yeah. when you see the exact location, you see what the block is at, and you know this could be this way in two or three years, mm. then makes you more motivated, more like, you know, yes, I see that. It's, it's very it's real. There. But how is the doctor able to pinpoint these areas of blockage? Well, let's back up a bit. After a quick check-in, patients go through a brief prep before the scan, vital signs are taken, and an IV is started. Patients are then taken to the scanning room where a dye is injected through their IV line. When the dye comes in, it's like a heat. It's like you're laying in the sun. People should know you do get warm from it. <laughs> Once the dye is in your bloodstream, the scan begins, and just as quickly, it's over. I was in, back forth, back forth, and then I was out. Yeah. It was maybe two minutes. In that short period of time, the cardiac scan generates a huge number of images of the heart. So this looks good. Which are then combined to build a virtual 3D version of your ticker and its blood vessels. So the bright so, white. So the bright is the, the calcium. Calcium, in this case, is bad. Too much of it and you can clog an artery, causing heart muscles to shut down. If that blocked up all the way, that's technically is what heart attack is. So the whole segment of the heart muscle will have no blood flow. Basically stops pumping. Stops right? pumping and that's when somebody can just die. Severe cases like this one would require a stent or perhaps even bypass surgery, but more moderate cases with say 30 to 40% blockage could be managed with medications and some lifestyle changes. Oh, back to Tina and Liz. The news was good for them today. Even before he said that there was no blockages, I could see that there were no blockages. It looked good, nothing to worry about. It, it makes me feel good to see what is gonna happen and if I find something wrong, I'll get it taken care of right away. So what's your risk? Maybe you work out, you eat right, but you've got this family history of heart disease. Should you be worried about it? At Frontenac Cardiovascular Center, anybody can have this test done, and depending on your specific situation, insurance may cover some of the cost. Just call to set up an appointment. The number is 314-733-9090. And their website is frontenaccardiovascular.com.